All right, Shalom. <clears throat> All right, Shalom. First off, and for most as always, I'm going to say, Call Lang La, Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem, Kakodash. And double honor being to the elder apostles, a great millstone that do rule and teach well. And of course, it's sincere Shalom to Yanki, my there. That's pushing his truth through spirit, through the power, and through name. Of Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem, Kakodash. Okay, so this is going to be a GMS quick hit. You know, Lord's Word is lessons edifying. Okay, and this is an article that uh, a brother sent in the chat. All right, and it says, um, it's, it's like a, the um, the website is called uh, um, endtimeheadlines.org. It's a very informative uh, website, you know, to keep up on um, prophetic events, okay, and privacy, you know. So it says, um, the article says, many are saying that something big is coming in 2022 in regards to UFOs. Now, of course, you know, no man knows the hour or day, but something big is coming. And that's the return of Yahweh Shai and the host of heaven. Okay. And in, in the Bible, you know, they're not called UFOs. They're called the heavenly chariots. Okay. The chariots of the Lord. In which these heavenly vehicles are going to be the deliverance of the elect, okay? The deliverance of of the 144,000, 12,000 out of each of the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel, followed by the one-third, which will consist of men, women, and children, the friends of the prophets, and the household of the prophets, okay? So, it says, um, last year was a breakthrough time for UFOs. As a landmark government report pr prompted the possibility of extraterrestrial visitors to finally be taken seriously by everyone from senators to a former president to the Pentagon. But 2022 could be even more profound. Experts say as a claimer for UFO disclosure and discovery continues to grow and as new scientific projects bring us closer, closer than ever to potentially discovering non-Earth life. A camper with alien and American flags at a at a desert, even in Nevada in 2019. All right. And it says 60 Minutes interviewed a number of credible witnesses about unidentified aerial phenomena. In June, the Pentagon released a highly anticipated report on unexplained aerial phenomena. The new preferred uh, nom, uh, nomenclature by some in the extraterrestrial community, which found more than 140 uh, instances of UAPs that could not be explained, and UAP stands for unidentified um, aerial phenomena. But to us, they're, you know, they're not UFOs, they're IFOs, you know. They're, uh, uh, they're uh, identified flying objects because we know, according to the scriptures, that these are, you know, the chariots of Israel, okay, in which these chariots are going to soon come into the house of the thief. All right. Let's get that real quick. St. Zechariah 5 and 1. Then I looked and turned and lifted up my eye and looked and behold a flying roll. And he said unto me, what seest thou? And I answered, I see a flying roll. The length thereof is 20 cubits and the breed of thereof 10 cubits. Then he said unto me, this is the curve that goeth forth over that goeth forth over the face of the whole earth. For every one that stilleth shall be cut off as on this side according to it, and every one that sweareth shall be cut off shall be cut off on that side according to it. I will bring a force at the Lord of hosts, and it shall enter into the house of the thief. Okay, and the house of the thief is talking about Babylon, America. Okay. And why it's called the house of the thief? Because this place has, uh, you know, that this place was established of rape, robbery, and, and murder, okay, on the backs of the nation of Israel, unrighteously, man, okay, and the, and this and, and this place is, is going to go down according to uh, uh the Bible, okay, by way of the, uh, nuclear destruction, all right, but also the uh the chariots are are, are also going to partake, you know, in the in the uh, demise of uh Babylon, okay, and it says. And into the house of him that swear falsely by my name, and it shall remain in the midst of his house, and shall consume it with the timber thereof, 
and the stones thereof. And that's and that's referring to the the uh, those laser beams that's gonna come forth out of those those heavenly vehicles. Okay, a prime example. You watched the movie in the um, Independence Day with uh, uh, Will Smith. You know, you had the laser beam, I believe, either over the White House or the Pentagon, and it blew that shit up, man. And that's how it's going to be. All right, but it's going to be uh, more magnified once it actually manifests, you know, in these times. Okay? <clears throat> All right, this is uh, the book of Psalm 68. And verse 17, it says, The chariots of the Most High are 20,000, even thousands of angels. The Lord is among them as in Sinai and the holy place. Okay, and real quick. Let me see. Yep, right here. So the third paragraph, it says, Um... It says right here, it says, which found more than 140 in, uh, instances of UAPs, meaning what? Un uh, un uh, unidentified aerial phenomena, according to Esau. It says found more than 140 UAPs that could not be explained. So that's only, you know, uh, what Esau found, 140, you know, uh, sightings of, you know, the uh, chariots that they saw. But, hey, guess what? It's more. Okay, according to Psalms, the... Uh, 68 verse 17, it says what? It says, the chariots of the Most High are 20,000, even thousands of angels. So best believe that once, you know, the Lord comes back, you have a shy, you know, it's, it's going to be deep. All right. It's going to be, you know, a fleet of chariots, an army of of, of, of heavy, of, uh, heavy uh, excuse me, an army of um, heavily vehicles. Okay. It says the Lord is among them as in Sinai in the holy place. All right. Revelation 1 and 7. And it says, Behold, he come with clouds. And who is the he? I was shy. And the clouds is talking about what? Chariots. Okay. And it says, And every eye shall see him. Right. Every everybody on earth is going to see the chariots. They're going to see, they're going to see the return of the Lord. Okay. Everybody's going to see, man. Just like in uh Independence Day, you know, everybody looked up, okay. Everybody's going to see, man. You know, everybody's going to stop what they're doing, you know, stop looking at their phones, stop looking down, and everybody's going to look up, all right? And, and that's why we look up, the whole full elect. That's why we look up, because our salvation draw of nine. It says, and they also which pierced him. And that proves that the ones that perished out of Shire are going to be here back today, you know, in the same lot as they were before, you know, somewhere, you know, high up in Esau's mil uh, military, okay? And that proves reincarnation. Okay, and it says, and then they also which pierced him, and all kindreds of the earth shall well because of him, even so are men. Okay, so guess what? Just believe that, you know, this, this, uh, how can I word it? This, um, you know, uh, heavenly invasion, I should say, is going to be uh, so great. Okay, people are going to be bugging out, man. That's why it says people are feeling them for fear. Okay, because once they see the Lord coming with the, the hosts of uh, heaven, they're going to be, you know, get get uh, heart attacks, shit, shit in their pants and, and just giving up the ghost. All right. But us, you know, us men of Yahweh Shemal Shai, the true believers and worshipers of the Lord, we're going to be praising the Lord, you know, to the to the the, the, uh, the the top of our lungs, man. OK, even though even though it's going to be frightening, but still in that day of judgment, we're going to be bold as lions. OK, OK, because because we know that that's our uh, our power come to coming to deliver us. OK. So that being said, I just want to say, call Loyum La, Yahweh Ba Shema Shai Ba Shemrim Kakodash. The Lord's will, this lesson was edifying to you, uh, you, you listeners, all right, you believers out there, all right. It, it, keep pushing, keep enduring, all right. Don't fret, the Lord's coming back to, to deliver us. With that being said, Shalom.